Hey, it's Amanda from Strive Physiotherapy and Performance. Today I wanted to talk about running with a metronome to influence your cadence. So first, cadence is the number of steps that you're taking per minute while you're running. And we can see that in elite runners, their cadence is typically around 180 beats per minute. In more inexperienced runners, typically their cadence is a lot less than that. Now, just because elite runners are doing it doesn't mean that all of us should do it. So what research has shown is potentially making small changes to your cadence could have some benefits. So for example, increasing your cadence by five to 10%. Um, and that's more so if your cadence is low. If your cadence is already really high, then potentially that's not an option for you. So some of the benefits of increasing your cadence can include things like improving your running economy, um, reducing the load through your joints, uh, decreasing your vertical oscillation, and that's gonna be beneficial because when you are running Running, you are trying to move forward. So by taking big steps, you're going to be taking more vertical movements with each step. If you take smaller steps, each vertical oscillation will be a little bit less. And that way you have more energy going forward instead of up. And that's going to help reduce the loading through your joints as well. So if you're decreasing the loading through your joints, you have the potential for potentially decreasing risk of injury. Um, and also if you're already having some pain, so for example, in patellofemoral pain syndrome, you may actually find that increasing your cadence will help deal with pain management. So there's lots of different reasons why you might want to try to manipulate your cadence, whether it's the potential for decreased risk of injury, for dealing with any pain issues that you're having, or just trying to improve your running economy. Um, so for myself, I wanted to find out what my cadence was because I had no idea. So I was able to borrow a activity tracker watch that told me what my cadence was when I went for a one kilometer run. So my cadence was 170 steps per minute. So what I wanted to try was see what happens if I increase my cadence to 180 steps per minute. So I went out for a three kilometer run at 180 steps per minute using a free metronome app on my phone so that it made a little sound every time that my foot was supposed to hit the ground. So that way I stayed consistent and I stayed at that pace the entire time. So for me, I found that cardiovascularly, it was definitely more difficult noticeably more difficult. So I think it would probably take me a good couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months to really get used to doing that cadence. And it increased my heart rate, but it also did everything that I thought it would. So it decreased my vertical oscillation. I felt like I wasn't bouncing up and down as much. And I felt like my running was a lot more smooth. So even though it was harder cardiovascularly, I think it was beneficial and it felt good to do it that way. So it's definitely something that I'm gonna play around with and see uh, how it feels to try for a couple of weeks. So I want you guys to see what your cadence is now. And if you do try increasing your cadence five to 10%, let me know how it goes. Thanks.